Fuck all my shoes that I brought. Oh, these I'm going to need my Crocs. I wouldn't be wearing my Crocs at there. five today and we are on our way into town 2.7 ish miles to go going into town is always like exciting because you just want to do laundry and take a shower and regroup but on the flip side sometimes it can be a little stressful because there's so much stuff you got to get done that's just different from your daily routine on trail We made it to the road. Okay, so first things first, before we get a ride into town, because I think Manchester Center is like 10 miles away or something. We are going to try to clean up in this river that was just north of the road because we probably won't be able to get into our hotel room till way later. So we're gonna need to do some of our town chores first, including the laundromat. So we're gonna wash up and then, oh, yeah. that did not work. Anyway, so we're gonna try to get clean and get our dirty clothes together for the laundromat. I have it out. I just. Whew. Whew. That'll wake you up. I should sit down. Whew. Whew. Ah. Nothing like a river bath. All freshened up. Now we're gonna go hitchhike. Stop laundromat. Next up, we need to find some food. We got meat. I got meat too. I got salmon. Venison sausage. Is venison sausage? Oh, make for me, man. Happy boy. Breakfast was awesome. We just walked back to the laundromat to move shit to the dryer. Now we're gonna walk back up that way to hit up the outfitter. Okay, successful outfitter shopping. Okay. Got some new shoes because of the whole waterproof situation. Um, they are Scarpas, never heard of them. Kind of ugly color, yeah. but it's fine. And then the big news is I got a stove. I've never had one. I did the whole AT stove list. So I got my first ever stove and fuel. And yeah, I just haven't been into my dinners lately. So I think the idea 
of mac and cheese on the trail sounds amazing. And a little Dr. Browner's since I used up all my soap. Now we gotta go back and pick up our laundry. <sighs> we just picked up our laundry. Now we are gonna run across the street. There's a TJ Maxx. Luke wants an extra pair of shorts, which they did not have at the Outfitter. And I would love Crocs instead of my camp shoes that I have, but I don't know if they'll have those at TJ Maxx. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, TJ Maxx is done. <laughs> they didn't have any. I can't wait to see you with those. Black and your Crocs. New shoes. They had pink knockoffs. Are your new shoes in the bag? Uh, yeah, and my bright blue shoes are in my bag. All right. Now we are heading to the inn that we're gonna stay at tonight. We're gonna just regroup, and then later on, we still have to do our food resupply. What? You're so sweet. Oh, don't even worry. It's, I hope it'll, be it'll be better than out here. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, this is awesome. Love it. All right, I just took a shower. Quick one, because I think we're gonna jump in the pool. Um, but first chores, things we gotta get done, because we're adults, so. Charging my battery packs is number one. And then I'm also just like unpacking stuff out of my pack, airing stuff out, throwing stuff on the floor, I'm gonna throw away my trash. So getting regrouped here. Regroup. Dude, look at this fucking stupid swap out. So I'm going from this to now this. This is very me. This is ugly. But it is what it is. I need to do right by my feet. So for my regular shoes, I've talked about this. The waterproof is just not working. So I ended up with these from the Outfitter. And then with my camp shoes, I freaking love these Zero Sandals. But it's very annoying when you're like getting in and out of the tent to have to like deal with the strap every time. Because I need to <laughs> get in and out freaking 50 times a night. And um, especially when it's raining, the straps get wet and everything. So I just wished I had a pair of Crocs. They didn't have actual Crocs, but I got these stupid pink knockoff Crocs. So I'm going to get rid of these shoes. They're beat up. They've got some miles on them anyway. Screw them. Um, but the zero sandals, I don't want to get rid of, so I'm just going to carry them. They're not that, like, heavy or big anyways, so I'll just throw them at the bottom of my pack. Maybe I'll send them home the next town if I get a chance to go to the post office. And these will stay on the outside of my pack. Looking fly. Okay, so to continue with the gear problems, my umbrella I broke on day two or three. Well, it didn't break, but do you want to explain what so happened? So there's this, little, this little, like, clip ball that sticks out, and that fell out. So what I did, I have these matches that I pack out. They're these big, burly matches. So I carved one of the edges to make a little post. And I stuffed it in the hole. And it seems to be working. Because what was happening is when I'd open it, because I'm so strong, it was just going, like, past it. And then it was, like, all floppy and not, like, a it might tight fit, umbrella shape. But I know that I can carve another little piece of wood in the woods. Yeah, at least you so figured out fine. the problem. So, so we now, temporary fixed it. Be right. so. Thank you, Bam. You're so good. Mm, America. Real good. We're gonna go resupply, and the nice lady that works here is gonna give us a ride. So hot out. We're a little out of practice on the resupply. Literally, the only reason I bought a stove is for my food cheese. Did the this food for three days? So good right now. Ooh. 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 Okay. Ooh. We're 
working on my resupply organization. So, gotta get my lunches together. Okay, I'm all organized. So I got my breakfast. These are actually left over from this past week. I had two left because I just was not hungry for breakfast. So I didn't have to shop for those. Lunches, same as I always do, mixed bag of snacks. And then dinners for my first time ever, mac and cheese, I'm so excited. And then we've got peanut M&Ms for after dinner, a couple drink mixes, an extra one of those. And this fits perfectly in my pots with the lid screwed on. So, got some chips and we're done. Okay, so all the major chores for the day are done. We did the laundry, we got the hotel, we just did the resupply, we went to the outfitter, which you saw I had to get the new shoes and then i got the stove which i'm very excited about what is that oh do you want to share what you got at the outfitter tell them what it is it's nut butter it's anti-shafe anti yeah <laughs> you just gave you just just gave the tip the other day for the and ointment but the guy at the outfitter swore by this i just liked it because the little squirrel on it there. is Look cute at a cute little stick a little squirrel nut. so anyways it's a good day what time is it it's 2 58 it's three o'clock and we've already pretty much gotten everything done. So solved all the gear problems. And yeah, now the last big task of the day is while I'm in town, I have to upload all my videos. So luckily we've got Wi-Fi here. So I'm gonna work on that tonight, getting those uploaded and thumbnails and descriptions and scheduled. And yeah, everything's finishing charging, so we should be good to go. And I guess that's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys that town isn't really a rest day. We probably walked <laughs> four miles today around town in the blazing sun, but we got it all done. So we will see you tomorrow when we... Have breakfast here quick before we jump back on the trail. Bye.